Welcome to Utrecht, my favorite Dutch city and home for the past few years. Today I'm going to be showing you the best of what to see, eat and explore. Our first stop is the heart of Utrecht and the central canal that runs through the city, the Utrecht. Utrecht, which translates to Old Canal in Dutch, was built by hand in the 12th century. What's so intriguing about the Utrecht are the views you get from two levels. From the street level, you will discover shops, cafes, restaurants, city hall, and historic Dutch houses. On the water, there are terraces, more restaurants, and many wharf cellars for which Utrecht is uniquely known for. Utrecht has tons of markets, but it's mainly known for three big ones, and that's Bredenburg, Lapjes Market, and Blumenmarkt. Here we are at Bredenburg, my personal favorite market because of all the snacks and fresh produce. There are over 100 stalls including electronics, clothes and other goodies. Blumenmark is Utrecht's flower market. Here you will find stalls full of vibrant flowers, garden plants, house plants and more. So I really love coming to Blumenmark for each season because for each one there's its own distinctive flowers and plants. There are tulips and daffodils in spring, gorgeous sunflowers and petunias in summer, pumpkins in autumn, and around Christmas time you'll notice them selling Christmas trees. What is a trip to Utrecht without a visit to the Dome Tower, or at least a photo op? This is the highest church tower in the Netherlands with nearly 500 steps that lead to amazing panoramic views. Unfortunately, the Dome Tower has been under construction and scaffolded for the past few years but you can still take a tour and climb the steps. I am now at the Pantroff Sinta Marie. This is the last standing remnant of the former St. Mary's Church, which was ordered to be demolished by Napoleon in 1813. And what visitors come to see in this beautiful courtyard space is the quaint garden. It's filled with seasonal flowers, medicinal herbs, and a variety of garden plants. The Pantof is a hidden gem that offers refuge from the busyness of the city. And it's nice to sit here because you have such a nice view of the dome tower, at least what you can see of it because it is scaffolded. Let's talk about what to eat and drink in the city. Utrecht has tons of places to choose from. So if you're looking for a unique dining experience in Utrecht, I highly recommend Café Olivier. Café Olivier is a Belgian beer cafe and it's housed in a former church and it's absolutely spectacular when you walk in. You can see it everywhere uh, on the ceilings and the ambience is just so cool. And yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I'm a huge Belgian beer lover, so they have a great variety and selection of Belgian beers that you can try. If you're seeking a more refined dining experience, I recently went to restaurant Bad House and 10 out of 10, I highly recommend it. It's a bit outside the city center, but totally worth it. The layout and interior is hip and stylish with a nice terrace. And I encourage you to order their chef's four course menu because the flavors and presentation were exceptional. Well, I am now on the other side of the Adachat called Bergsingel. And this is another cool spot to come to if you walk down the Adachat and you'd like to take a breather, you'd like to take some nice photos. There are a lot of people sunbathing on the dock, getting off their boat to go find a nice drink. There's quite a few bars in this area. There's a windmill that you can go visit and take some nice photos. A great way to see Utrecht is by the water. Whether it's through a boat cruise, paddle boat, or kayak, you're sure to have a wonderful experience. I think it's the best way to have another perspective of the city. So here we are in the Leitzigweg area. Actually, it's more of a street. And I want to show you this because there are quite a few activities to do. It's about a 15 minute walk from Utrecht Central Station. I really love this Leitzigweg area because I think it's the perfect spot to chill, especially if you kind of want to get away from the city center and just have more of a relaxed day. There's actually quite a few things to do over here and you wouldn't think so. There is a windmill 
that's a few steps from here. They have a petting zoo, so you can bring your kids. They also have a cafe there, so you can enjoy some puffages or cafe by the water. It has really nice views. I'm actually also next to the old mint building that used to have a mint Dutch currency. If you are hungry and you want to grab a bite to eat, there's this restaurant here called Zwarte Jongen. It's pretty good. It's right by the water. Um, it has a cool layout. Um, they have pretty good food. I recommend it. Another bar that I really recommend is Cafe Belgium. And this is another Belgian beer bar, but it's just so good. I love it. It really has that grungy type of vibe. There's a lot of locals and university students that come there. They have a great selection of beers. The menu at Cafe Belgium is absolutely, it's just a lot. So you might be a bit overwhelmed with the selection of beer. Many times I hear from tourists and travelers is that Utrecht is comparable to Amsterdam and this is something I don't quite understand so if you have any comments on this let me know. I can see where tourists are coming here for the first time and like that's their only reference so they think of Amsterdam so they say in Utrecht oh there's canals, there's boating, there's um, a, a, a big city center. Uh, there's a lot of tourists so maybe that's the reference they're trying to make or compare to but other than that I don't really think that the two cities are comparable at all and I might just be a bit biased. Obviously I didn't cover everything in this video because I think it would be about two hours or more. There are way more restaurants, there are way more terraces, there are just way more activities uh, that I could list here and if you'd like to see a follow-up video I'd be more than happy to share with you guys. I hope you guys liked this video of Utrecht and got to experience a little bit of what the city has to offer. If you'd like to see more content like this, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!